Congratulations for you. Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today it is Monday the 24th of May and today I am vlogging because I finished college for the day. I did finish a bit early. I think I finished it around half two so I'm going to make the most of of today and vlog while I can plus Scott will be coming around. So I'm just going to kind of show you what I'm going to do for the afternoon and stuff. I think the plan of action is to actually film a few videos um maybe like uh, who's most likely to or something and something else I'm not quite sure yet and then yeah so basically uh, today at college was like the last proper theory day so all I've really got to do and now is complete a couple of a couple more practical exams and then do the actual like exams as well so yeah, it's quite exciting. I will be finishing college very soon, hopefully by mid-June. I'll all be signed off and everything, and that'll be me forever, probably. It's kind of scary, but, you know, like, it's just exciting times, you know? Also, I'm not wearing, like, any face makeup because I really need to... I just had a FaceTime call off Scott, so I apologise. But as I, as I was saying, my skin has been breaking out. I think it could be... I think it could be from like the copper in the coil um, and it take my skin and break out and plus I've not had like a period in over a month so I'm kind of worrying a little bit but it, it is normal to not have a period anyway but yeah so I'm not wearing, I'm not really wearing any makeup apart from false eyelashes and eyebrows because I want to give my skin a break plus like I like wearing no face makeup and it's also very warm outside so what's the point in wearing makeup but yeah but after college I did go into town to grab my friend a birthday card for her birthday on Thursday and I've also got like a bottle of wine for her birthday and then like I'm going to put it in the gift bag and then also in town I did actually get a few things with the prom bookings. This year my little sister will be having a prom and I can't believe it because like she's grown up so fast like it's kind of weird for her to be having a prom. Um, especially when like COVID's been about but anyway I bought a couple of revolution the face powders because I actually use this one in P3 it looks really dark but it's not as dark as it looks and then I also bought a clear one in P0 I'm hoping it will show up okay on the skin I have to test it before I try it out on clients obviously because I can imagine if it gives awful flashback we do not want that and then i bought the revolution pro bronzer because i've never actually really tried anything from revolution pro so i got this absolutely gorgeous bronzer it's called the sculpting bronzer with cocoa extract in bahia that's how you say it but it's absolutely gorgeous and the packaging it's like a gorgeous snake skin. It's actually gorgeous. That was nine pounds, and the powders were four pounds each. And then I decided to get a brow pomade because a few girls will be like fair haired, and this is also the Revolution Pro because the makeup Revolution the pomades looked okay, but I want to go for Revolution Pro because like, it's slightly better makeup compared to like standard Revolution. And this was six pounds, I think. I do prefer using a brow pomade compared to eyebrow pencils just because I feel as if it makes your eyebrows look a bit more bigger like they're more shaped and stuff so this is in the shade blonde as you can see I'm just gonna open it up and show you that's like the colour I will probably use this on myself you know like in the Morphe one I actually use it in latte and it could actually be slightly too dark for me but in my hair go through, my hair does go through stages where it can go dark and go blonde again, but that's like the colour difference, I suppose. It's too bad, but I'll have to test it on myself before I test it on clients. And sometimes when you buy a makeup product, it may not be as good as like, you thought it would be, so I'm hoping it'll be okay. Like, I used to have like a NYX eyebrow pomade and it too dried out so quickly. I always leave like lids on products and stuff, so I don't know why it's like that, but I'm hoping this one, I'm hoping this one will be better. If not, I might have to go up to Morphe because Morphe do some really good eyebrow pomades, I'm not going to lie. And also, 
is that gonna close? Thank you. Um, also, I think I'm talking for ages this morning. Well, it isn't the morning, it's the afternoon. But I've kind of got an updated makeup. I mean, your boy can't really speak. I've got an updated skincare routine because, as I said before in the vlog, I do have a kind of bad skin at the minute. Like, it's not the worst it's ever been, but it has been quite bad these past few, kind of like a couple of weeks, I'd say. So, for cleanser, I've been using the Mary Obedescu Acne Facial Cleanser. And, oh my god, guys, I can see such a difference in my skin. My skin was literally like so spotty, and like all spots on my face were like really painful red ones. And like, they still are really red, but I do have oily skin as well, so my skin is very prone to getting breakouts very easily. But I've been using this. The mum got, got it for me off Beauty Bay, and oh my god, it's amazing. I do love Mario Badescu as a skincare brand. I used to have one of their facial sprays. Actually, speaking of the facial sprays, I do have it here. Yeah. Um, I've been using this for three or four days in a row, and it's also cruelty free. Um, and it seems to be working really well. And this is like a gel cleanser, so. If you do have oily to combination skin, like myself, gel cleansers are the one to go for. So head over to Beauty Bay and you buy yourself this because I highly recommend if you do have oily skin or acne as well. And then also for a uh, toner, I've just been using my standard Nivea refreshing toner because the toner is always is always very good for moisturising your skin as well. And then I've also been using the number seven rating results. Oil free eye makeup cleanse just like for excess like eyelash glue or mascara which is quite stubborn it does take it off. I've then also been using this the Beauty Bay the Soothe Paste blemish, the blemish treatment basically like it has I don't even know how to say this it's the salicylic acid and prebiotic so that the salicylic acid whatever you call it is meant to be really good for drying out your spots and stuff and kind of healing them which is the perfect ingredient for people who do have acne and spots like myself and this is five or six pounds i think and it's for tackling breakouts and de-stressing your skin it does say for all skin types but no skincare product it will be suited for all skin types because like if you have if you have dry skin this will just make your skin go all dry and cracked but if you do have oily or combination skin it's the one to go for guys and then I've also been using Mini Tutuna Clear and Fair Moisturizer for moisturizing my skin, oil free, perfect for my oily skin. And then finally, the face facts, the face facts, face facts. I can't say facts. Anyway, a vitamin C eye cream. This has actually been making my own dries a lot more brighter, so thank you very much for making a good little. Um, eye cream so that's my skincare routine like in my skincare routine it never used to be that big but i can definitely see the difference in my skin especially since they're using probably these two products actually because they're really good and before i was using this one i was using the mario Badescu drying lotion but it's kind of all dried up a little bit and like it keeps falling off my face so this one it's like a good cheap for that one in case you don't want to spend as much money on a drying lotion i highly recommend that one but i'm just gonna put that all the way but like i'm not even joking guys my alex five drawers are full to the brim of like of, of makeup and skin camera looks look that's my face drawer that is the very full that's my eye drawer which is very full again this is like my lip and eye drawer and stuff i then also have this one here full of stuff i don't know if, if you see that and then finally this one here yeah so <laughs> i probably have to get the alex nine drawers at this rate but you know it's fine <laughs> um I, I try and keep like there's some light of my skincare in this one because it just fits but i do have a lot of face masks in the balms like i really need to sort it out if any of you guys want to message me about like the, the skincare products like the recommendations or the makeup recommendations just give me a message on my instagram alice.holmes and i will give you a message but anyway because i finished a bit early and scott will probably not be here until around like it's probably 20 past four and the time is currently 22 four so i do have a bit of time on my hands 
So, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to... You probably do some revision. It sounds so boring, but I do have an exam on Wednesday. And I just need to prepare myself because you do need to organise yourself, you know. So, that is what I'm going to do. I'm also really tired because I was up at 7 o'clock, but... I've been working for the past three days. I uh, work from three, I mean, at five o'clock until 11 or 12 o'clock. So the tiredness is definitely catching up with me, to say the least. But anyway, my mum actually got, I mean, it's got a Yorkie bar each. It's like a limited edition one. I don't actually know what flavour it is. It's orange one. Ooh. Um, and it's one for me and one for Scott. So I'm very excited about that, actually. I'm going to actually go and have this. But yesterday at Tesco's, I bought myself um, the two packs of cookies, the triple chocolate cookies, and then, are you ready for this? The Tesco brownie the cookies. So, if you don't know, guys, I love my chocolate. My chocolate cookies always have a, will always have a special place in my heart. But anyway, I'm going to be even more unhealthy and, and have one of these now because they actually look really nice. And plus, the limited edition, so you might as well have one, you know. So, yeah. I'm just gonna relax now for a little bit, you know, and just yeah, chill because there's nothing else to do. And honestly, I just want to just yeah, I'm tired, you know. I've just had the chocolate orange jerky, and can't just say it was unbelievable. Like I highly recommend. It's so orangey, but oh my god, it's so good. But also the lighting today is absolutely gorgeous. It's so sunny outside because when I left the house to go to college this morning, it looked as if it was, it looked as if it was going to rain, and then I think it did. But now that the sun is shining, the means Scott are probably going to be staying indoors anyway. But you know it's fine. But I just want to show you like an outfit for day, just in case you're wondering where my outfit is from. So yeah, so I'm just going to turn the camera around. Outfit of the day top is from Zara. I really wish they had a Zara. In Carlisle, but the dawn. So the nearest star to me is in the metro centre, but it is it is nowhere near as good as a Sara in Liverpool because oh my god, I love the one in Liverpool, it was so good. And then in my black pants are from New Look, so that is my outfit of the day. In my figure is starting to show a bit. But I've been putting um a little bit of weight on my hips lately, like look, can you see it on there guys? It's like yeah. Oh yeah, and also guys, I've also been getting like a bit of like a pre-period cramp as well, so I feel a bit weird today, I'm not gonna lie, like I do feel a bit like a bit, oh, like what's going on, and I've also noticed today, I've been saying like a lot, so I apologise if I keep saying it, but I think it's just a Carlisle thing, I think, I think it's just like, you know what Cumbrians say, like, <laughs> In between, uh, what is it called? The words. <laughs> yeah, you can tell I'm tired because I'm trying to remember what to say. <laughs> but yeah, I'm basically waiting for Scott. I think he's, I think he's probably around twenty five minutes away. But oh my god, it feels as if it's taken forever. It always feels as if like it takes forever him. I can't, I can't speak now. It always feels as if it takes forever for him to come here because we don't live in like the same kind of um area we live in different uh, parts of cumbria they're not too far away but like i live in a city and he lives in a town so it's kind of different when he comes here when i go to his because like where i live you have like a city center you have like the the big hospital whereas where he lives they don't have a city center because it's a town you know so yeah it's a big change but anyway I'm going to enjoy my bottle of water because if you want to have clear skin, I need to drink a lot of water and I will be manifesting it because it's good to manifest about having clear skin. So I'm just going to say to myself, I, I will get clear skin because I will, honestly. If you don't believe me, come back to my channel in a couple of weeks and my skin will be glowing. So yeah, I'm just having my water and... My arm is literally aching from holding the phone, so I'll probably see you guys when Scott is here because, yes, I'm bored right now. And we've got everybody, as you can tell. And 
for the past three hours. You look really like you look like you've been on holiday or something. I do, don't I? He looks Italian as well. He with his moustache. Doesn't he? Mario, Mario. We've dropped my sister and a friend off a netball because they go like they'll prof in the bin. Yeah, they go it's netball like every Monday for like practice and stuff. So we've done that. And now we're back and down I'm just in gum because I'm actually quite cold. Um and Scott is wearing shorts because Because I'm hard. He, I can't put my horrible legs on here. Oh yeah, look. They're horrible. Oh yeah, legs are lovely. He looks really nice in khaki. He has a great. Stop this. Why are you getting nervous? I look better in pink. <laughs> and we'll be having tea in like five, ten minutes, I think. So I'm really hungry, man. Are you? I'm hungry, man. I'm hungry. And then yeah, the plan for after tea is we're going to film a video, I think. I've got like, well... I think we'll film one video tonight because. Oh yeah, I'm not filming too. No. Um. I don't get paid for it. Who not to get paid for the cake? So it's it goes hand in hand. You did. I give you twenty quid. Well, only once. But anyway, um, you meant to be going to Glasgow. You wouldn't have been able to see me, would you, if we didn't do the cake? No. You meant to be going to Glasgow from the third of the June until the sixth of June. Um. At Glasgow, but obviously, you know, the rules are different in Scotland compared to England. So, I think the Nicola is going to be making uh, I think it's called Nicola Sturgeon, I think. It's going to be making an announcement this Friday coming also on payday as well. Um, and so, hopefully, so you wouldn't spend the money before because you were getting paid four days the, later. No, but like. Pay, pay, it's good timing because it will appear to you when she announces the announcement and hopefully you won't like they won't go like into like a stricter lockdown or whatever it is because they're after rebook. Travel is allowed within Scotland with the exception of Glasgow and overnight stays with family and friends are allowed in line with rules on indoor gatherings. It's only Glasgow, like what like what? Got a dumb freeze. <laughs> They go camping there for three nights. Dumfries isn't just like a countryside, I don't think. No, no. It's maybe farm there. We go maybe farm. Much like a full day at maybe farm. Oh my god, I actually love that. Maybe. Yeah, who else has been to maybe farm in, in Dumfries? Probably people who live up like Scotland and Cumbria way probably have. Maybe. Or Balby Farm. Maybe. It's, it's good. <laughs> maybe. But yeah, we was kind of chilling, having a look online at like uh, places that I potentially go in case we can't. We get to Glasgow, aren't we? If we do go to Glasgow, the hotel we'll be staying at is the Apex Hotel. And how much is it for three nights? Is it £240 or something? Just tell everyone where we're going and when we're going oh, and what no. time we're going to be there. Come and see us if you want. <laughs> um, no, but and like, it was a good price for what it was, isn't it? Interior. We're about to go <laughs> on a yeah. walk. No, please, because I don't like... I got them gifted um, yesterday as a present. Any. But would you like them? Yeah, but I don't I'll have some. Um, anyway. Uh, Thanks, anyway. <laughs> oranges. Yeah, anyway. Um, you subscribe, I'll give you free chocolate. <laughs> Scott I forgot his jacket and they're about to go on a I walk and like, I, I asked him to wear my jacket. But uh, it's not too bad fit on you though. Yeah, the hood actually fits your big head. I suppose it's a big hood. Look, you show the camera. <laughs> the thug life chose me. You do look you're like a road man a little bit though, so definitely don't wear it. Do you wanna buy some of this bro? Oh don't, you're so embarrassing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> oh yeah, but um I don't know what your jacket you're gonna wear because But I'll have to look at my car because I'm sure it, like, yeah, no one's getting there. You will. But Scott is still wearing my jacket. So it's going for that. A nice little walk, aren't we, Scott? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I've got an umbrella because it is raining. It may not, it may not assume it's raining in a minute. Really but fine. it is like it is. There is a lot of trees. Um, like yeah, that, the jacket is extra small, and usually Scott is like a size medium, but he actually fits him. So. Yeah, it does, well, it doesn't. Well, I couldn't zip it. Oh no, but I bet you could try. Here you look. 
<laughs> yeah, I told you. <laughs> oh my god. They're just gonna go nice for a little walk. walk. It's so warm. I know. This I'm, jumper, this jacket. I'm wearing another little jacket, so I don't tell her. But don't tell I've her. not asked her. But who's gonna go and tell her? No, I don't know. If someone could be watching and might message her or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone go and tell her. Yeah, I don't know. Does your sister watch them? Occasionally, I think she does. I think. Board. Oh yeah, probably. Ooh. Ooh. Oh well. What does it make you bored? Ooh. Sure. <laughs> Right. Is that like going in? Yeah, it's going in. Is it? So guys, we're still on our walk, it's nine o'clock and... Near the cricket club. It was down near the cricket club. I don't know where the cricket club is. Uh, but anyway guys, what I'm talking about, he basically Jack May. If you've not seen one of his recent videos, he basically uh, hid like a lot of tins and a lot of different... Oh, it's over there, that's the cricket club, be the club behind. Over there, basically, Jack Mitt. Near your engine line, isn't it? Uh, possibly, basically, Jack Mitt. You know, he'd the 31 tins or something, and like it had like a ticket in for money, and like a hid one in Carlisle. Did it have money in it? Or just a ticket for money. A ticket for money, obviously. Yeah. And like it hid a ticket to where we live, pretty much. So, yeah, we've been on the hunt for it, but someone's already found it anyway. So, look at that post version, we? I know, but. Oh well, it's obviously not going to be there now because uh, someone's obviously going to take it, aren't they? Is, it called? is that um on there? Oh right, so I eat sorry. We were quite well. We were quite close then, I but anyway. It's further on. Oh, like up here. That way. Oh, oh well. Oh my god, it's actually awful weather. But how long have we got to walk home now? It's been like for half an hour, forty minutes. I think it'll only take us fifteen now. Will it? Oh, probably not even that, probably even 10 minutes. You think? If you walk quickly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but the weather's awful now. So, yeah. Uh, Bye. Bye. And Scott. I've just been asked to be a brand ambassador for a sprinkle company. You must have seen how happy he was getting, look. This is him. This is him right now. I'm moving on up now. Oh my god. <laughs> getting you premises, being brand ambassador. So the only way it's up now. Hurt my chest though by banging it. <laughs> Mr. B is going like that. Oh dear. It's now time. Long time for Mr. Melvin. Yes, it's now time time because I've got college in the morning. I'm not to wear my beauty uniform tomorrow, so I'm kind of happy about that. But I thought you haven't done all your eyelashes yet. Oh yeah, I have. I've completed all the paperwork. Have you done all your facials as well? Yeah. But have you done the physical stuff? Yes, I have. Sorry. Sorry. It's all right. Oh, well, I think I have, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I have. How weird is it that you're going to finish college in a few weeks? I oh, know, like... How long have you been there? Three years? Yeah, three years almost, yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Like, yeah, it'll all be over and done with. I'll, I'll never go back unless like, I want to produce something else, but probably most likely we'll not go back. I've been to three different colleges. Mm. Oh, yeah. I can never like alternate between colleges though, so, like. Yeah, but I, I went right into level three mm. for food. I suppose. I missed out level one and level two, and then I only went to the, the Kendall College because it was patisserie. Oh, yeah. And no one else did that. I suppose. Well, anyway, guys. College was I think I'm going to end this one here because Scott is going home. I'm going to get ready to go to bed because I'm really tired and I've already done 20,000 steps a day, haven't I? Almost. 19. Oh yeah, 20,000. You've got to put an extra thousand on, haven't you? Yeah. Hi, I have a question for you. Would you be interested in becoming a brand ambassador? That's so good. Well, honestly, I'm so tired. I've got to drive home. I've got 40 minutes. It's too late for a tea or anything, isn't it? Yeah, I just have to uh, concentrate a lot. Yeah, but anyway, guys, I really hope that like, you guys have enjoyed this vlog. If you have, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Comment down below and also subscribe to my channel if you are new. And we will see you all in the next video. Bye for today.